so I still can't take a shower or wash my hair. Um, I applied a little bit of makeup on so that you guys um, wouldn't get scared. Uh, I am still in a high amount of pain and I have a hard time moving around because I feel the lines into my spine. So just to update you, I have um, CRPS. It's under the right of my rib cage, um, abdominal pain. Um, I also have chronic migraines and chronic cluster headaches. Um, I've had this for about a year and a half. We decided to do the surgery after countless doctor visits and everything else. Um, I've undergone two MRIs and a CT scan and they couldn't find anything. And we went up to OHSU here in Oregon and um, I had surgery on Tuesday under the care of um, a really great doctor. So he implanted the two lines into the left side of my spine. Um, I, it was an easy surgery. They sedate you and then they talk to you throughout the surgery. I was really worried that I wasn't going to be able to tell him exactly where my pain was or I wasn't going to um, be able to establish where the lines needed to be with him. But you know what, all of that was taken care of. Um, I told him exactly where it needed to be. Um, he thought he was gonna have to put three lines into my spine and he only put two. Um, and I don't remember a thing. So everything came out really, really well. I now, after the surgery, I was in extreme pain. <laughs> um, there's nothing like uh, pokes into your back. Um, so one of the things I would really advise is to make yourself a foam cushion for your back if you're going to the surgery. So what I did is I went to Joanne's Fabrics and I got just this foam and then on our way out of the hospital my husband ripped a hole in it and then he put this down on the car seat and I can put my spine where the leads go and stuff right into that hole and that makes a world of difference. It takes all the pressure off of my back. And especially for us because I also, um, we stayed up in Portland for another day and then I had to drive five hours home. So it saved me pretty much. Um, I leaned my chair all the way back and just rode home totally like that. Um, they don't give you a lot of pain medicine, which is funny because we've been in pain this whole entire time. So you will um, realize that, whoa, this is a lot of pain that I'm in. At least it was my experience. I was in a lot more pain than I thought I was going to be in. Um, so just keep that in mind and start tracking how much pain medicine you need and then stay on top of it as you go. It's not a visceral type of pain like ner with nerve pain. It's kind of visceral on top of your skin. This is more of a um, like you just broke your arm and anytime you move a certain direction it just kind of hurts um, and like you have two things poking into your spine. That's how I kind of feel right now. Um, it especially hurt the day after and waking up and going to sleep is really painful but it's starting to ease off every day and starting to um, <clears throat> be I'm able to just to do more and more as the day goes by um, I really like walking around and getting the pressure off of my spine feels a lot better than just sitting constantly in one spot however if I sit in one spot I have to stay still I cannot move once I get into a certain position, I just have to stay there until the pain kind of eases up. I didn't realize that at first and I was just moving too much and my body couldn't relax. And so I had to figure out a position and then stay there no matter how much it kind of hurt for a while. And then my body would slowly relax and everything would subside. And then I could, um, from there, I figured out, oh, I'm not in so much pain. 
So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I'm not able to do much. I don't do much at all. I just sit on the couch watching TV. And um, my husband has to do pretty much everything for me. I mean, I can go get food for myself. Um, he opens all the doors. He helps me in and out. I um, would say make sure that you are taking a lot of digestive medication um, because that is something that comes up with any surgery, as you probably know if you've gone through this too. Um, so you want to start that regularly right after you come out of the hospital because nothing's worse than um, constipation and uh, pain. So I would get on a stool softener and just write all that out. Um, but besides that, um, it's it's a different experience, but um, I haven't had any nerve pain. So what it is doing, it's um, really working. Um, I haven't had any of it. I was probably every day at about an eight with my nerve pain, and now I haven't felt it at all. We do recalibrate it every, uh, twice a day. The DRG rep will talk you through that. Um, you have like a little iPod, and you will set it to the beeper. You, It's a beeper with a white cord that hooks on. And this white cord goes up into your leads, into your spine. And this beeper you hook up to a, it looks kind of like a large phone, kind of like the Burberry, not Burberry phones, the Blackberry phones. Um, and then you calibrate that every day. You bring it up until you can feel the pulses where your nerve pain is. And then you will click it down a couple of times. But he'll go over that with you um, when you get the surgery and when you get out of the hospital. Um, our DRG rep has been great and he calls us every day and talks to us and see, sees how I'm doing. We go back up next Tuesday and so I'll try to keep this diary going just so that you'll have an idea of what to expect. So.